coronavirus patients with plasma or not? We're getting some conflicting answers from top health experts this morning. And do face shields really work? Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers tracking it all for us this morning. Brittany? Yeah, a lot to talk about. Well, first off, I'm here at Tully Stadium, which is one of the city of Houston surge testing sites. And that free testing starts this morning around 10 o'clock. Now, we've heard from city and health leaders. They've been encouraging folks to get tested. But as we've been reporting, we continue to see those numbers continue to go down. Now, you mentioned we've got several different topics uh, to discuss this morning pertaining to COVID-19. And the first one we want to bring up are those face shields. You've probably seen people walking around with them. Well, according to a new study turns out they might not work. Researchers at a Florida Atlantic University simulated coughing and sneezing from a mannequin wearing a face shield and the shield did block the initial forward motion of a simulated cough or sneeze, but the droplets were easily able to move around the visor and spread out. Experts say it's preferable if you wear a cloth mask. Now we do have some good news out of Fort Bend County. It is COVID-19 risk level is now at orange. It was lowered yesterday for the first time since the system was implemented in July. That that orange level means that there's a moderate or significant community risk. County Judge KP George says that residents should continue to wear masks and social distance. Now, the National Institute of Health is casting some doubt over a possible coronavirus treatment. Convalescent plasma has already been approved for emergency use by the FDA. It's the antibody rich blood product that's taken from patients who have recovered from COVID-19. It's then transfused into patients battling the disease. Now, the agency believes it's still too early early to say if the treatment works or not. And in a statement, the agency says that doctors should not use convalescent plasma as a standard of care for COVID-19 until more studies have been done. Now, coming up for you at 630, we're going to have some more information on antibody testing in COVID-19 and just how long those antibodies may last for. Reporting live near Tully Stadium this morning, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Okay, Brittany, we'll see you then. Thank you.